Hello, my soccer universe. Well, uh, the first worst case scenario happened, uh, team that I don't have a jersey of qualified for the semifinals. And that's why I'm wearing Germany for Leipzig's win. And I decided I will not get a Leipzig jersey. Even the most I will invest is this sucker here. But, you know, I'm not that big of a fan of the whole Red Bull empire, to be honest. So I put this now back there. See, this is a placeholder for uh, Red Bull Leipzig on my wall here. Um, I, having said all that with uh, them not um, being my favorite or whatever, I have to admit they have been doing really good work. Um, at least since Ralf Rangnick took over and they have a very identifiable and very uh, nice to watch, attractive uh, way of playing. So Leipzig played yesterday against Atletico Madrid and given how Leipzig had been playing but, um, as of late, um, at the end of the Bundesliga season, I did not expect much from them. Then Timo Werner is, is gone, although I am probably one of the few people who doesn't rate Timo Werner all that highly. But yeah, well, some people say he's a genius. So, you know, we'll see what he will do at Chelsea. So that's going to happen. I will adjust back a little bit like that. I said I need to clean up here a little bit. Um, I... Don't rate him, but I knew that probably that offensive style against Atleti's defensive style could make for an intriguing matchup, uh, at least. I did not watch the game, so all my information is from podcasts and highlights. And what everyone agrees on is that Leipzig was the more uh, proactive team that um, even Atletico uh, for the most time said, yeah, they were actually the better team most of the, of the time. Um, the one thing that definitely has to be said is that the lineup for Atletico Madrid without Joao Felice and then um, without Morata, that seemed a little bit odd to me, to be honest. Because you, from, from, from the get-go, give yourself a defensive setup. I am not sure if this was a very, very smart move on Diego Simeone's side. And I have to say, Diego Simeone, five year, years ago, he was the best uh, thing that happened to coaching and was ready to step up for a big club, but he stayed at Atletico. I think he's slowly running his course there. I, I would give him a year or two still, but at the moment, this seemed to be a wide open tournament where Atletico could maybe even get into the final if they played out nicely. But yeah, uh, there was a good chance by Klostermann early on, uh, early on, I think one chance by Atletico, but it was mostly Leipzig who was playing. And they took the lead very early uh, in the second half through a really nice passing move. I think Lana played it out to Sabitzer, to Austrians, and then um, the cross comes in and Olmo can head it in. This was really well played and it's 1-0 for Leipzig. Simeon's reaction is what he should have done probably at least at halftime, if not sooner, bring Joao Felicia on. Uh, and that gave life to Atletico Madrid. They were uh, way more proactive. Um, and then the um, Klosterman uh, trips Joao Felice in the penalty box, clear penalty, given by my favorite referee. Uh, Joao Felice steps up and makes it 1-1. One, one. And at that point then, uh, it was really um, Atletico Madrid that had the better of the game, really trying to get forward. And it was one of those rare attacks where Angelino comes out. You see the two attackers going into the box and everyone following him. And for once, Angelino had a so-and-so game makes out uh, uh, Adams in the middle of the park who takes a shot that gets if uh, deflected by Savage into the net. Uh, the best player for Leipzig though, uh, everyone agreed was Upamecano. Um, I totally can see this. He is a huge talent from what I personally have seen, not only this game, but uh, over the Bundesliga season. Uh, but a little bit raw around the edges still, but I can believe that he was probably the best player. Leipzig hangs on, there was one chance, but hey, they hang on and um, Julian Nagelsmann makes it to the semifinals. This is the furthest Leipzig ever got in any European comp competition and the interesting part is that they're meeting now PSG, uh, where, they meet, where uh, Nagelsmann meets Thomas Tuchel, the guy who actually started in a way his coaching career at Mainz, so that's an interesting part as well. I would expect this to be an interesting one 
I don't expect anything else but PSG uh, being at least favored. I think Leipzig can hurt them, but I would in a way hope that PSG will make it through. Now look, look at all. I expect Man City to go through. I expect Bayern to go through. Bayern Munich are the good guys in that whole lineup. That doesn't sit good. I, I know 10 year, years ago I was really not happy with Bayern playing against Inter in the final. I adopted back then as this is the worst thing. These are the bad guys of football. How the times have changed. I mean, if you have Man City and PSG with their Middle Eastern money behind, then you have the Red Bull Empire and then Bayern Munich, yeah, who did their own stuff, but at least they are a traditional club. Uh, so yeah, it's down to Barcelona to keep the good guys alive in, 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 in a way. Uh, very intriguing matchup tonight. Uh, we'll talk about it all tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please drop some comments uh, below if you know a little bit more about that game than I just could tell you. Um, and yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.